And we begin tonight at 11 with an announcement nearly two years in the making after a shocking scene back in April of 22 that nearly left the USS the Sullivan's right there at the bottom of the Buffalo River. Good evening. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. Now, since that day, there has been a push across the state to save the Sullivan's and today the Naval Park announced that it has finally reached the funding needed to do that. Join your sides. Andy Payton leads us off tonight at 11 with all the details. Two years ago, the USS Sullivan's future looked like it was heading nowhere but down. But tonight, the state making sure it's staying afloat. Today was an incredible day for the Naval Park, incredible day for the community. With Governor Kathy Hochul announcing a $10 million donation, putting the Naval Park at its $21 million goal to save the Sullivan's. The governor's trip today is something that we've been waiting for for the last two years. Paul Marzello yeah. is the president and CEO of the Naval Park. Back in April 2022, she had a weather related breach in her hull. He tells me right now the USS Sullivan's is literally hanging on by a concrete patch. She was meant to last 20, 25 years at the most. So here we are trying to keep her afloat until that time. But keeping the Sullivan's afloat long term is going to take a lot more than some patchwork. It's going to be a very complicated uh, situation. The plan is to go in with the tugboat by next fall, tug the Sullivan's and the USS Crocker to a dry dock along Lake Erie, make repairs, and then return the two ships to the Naval Park by the spring of 2026. Well, we have to get her through another winter, which is not going to be an easy task. A not so easy task they're more than willing to take on. This project is a tribute to every man and woman who ever wore a uniform. If it means making sure its legacy we thought we were in the right direction, stays afloat. We want to make sure to honor them, and the best way to honor them is to preserve this ship. Now we're told the Naval Park plans to have a logistics meeting tomorrow morning now that they have this funding to really finalize these plans, including try to figure out where exactly they're going to be taking these two ships behind us, which dock that's going to be. Although right now we're told it's probably going to be up in Erie for dry docking. Scott and Mary Alice. Yeah, Andy, uh, real quick before you go here, you say that Erie is most likely at this point. Now there is a dock, I believe, even closer in up in Hamilton, Ontario. Why risk having to travel that even further with really such an old ship here? Yeah, Scott, you make a really good point there. Hamilton is probably a little bit closer than Erie, but given the fact that federal funding is involved here, they wanted to make sure that money was going to be spent at a dock here in the U.S. Scott. Andy Payton reporting tonight. Andy, as always, thank you. Appreciate it.